Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here, and today I thought I'd do a tutorial on how to set up the Archuria Spark 2 uh, VST on FL uh, Studio. And uh, so we're going to just start out here. I have opened up here just a basic uh, new project, basic with limiter is what I have here. Uh, but you can set this up on any project. This is just for the demonstration purposes. All right, so I'm going to hit the plus here, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to load the uh, VST uh, right here, which is the Spark. And just take a second for that to load up. It's looking for the controller here, so um, I just always hit OK on that message because I don't have the controller connected up right now. Uh, and you don't need the controller connected up to uh, use this VST. So we've got the VST in here. And I'm going to go up here to this little gear. And these are like FL Studio icons. Uh, and it's how SL Studio um, interfaces with the VST. And what we're going to do is we're going to go right uh, here. And uh, where it says input port, we're going to set it to 11. You can set it to any free import in, in input port, uh, but I've, I'm just choosing 11 for demonstration purposes once again. All right, so I'm going to uh, shut this, and then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go to the add again, and I'm going to go find MIDI out. And uh, once I get the MIDI out set up here, where this is port here, I want to set this to 11 as well. And uh, then I'm going to actually go up to this gear, and I'm going to go to this right here, because we have to make sure that this is working. I'm also going to set this right here to uh, 5, because the first 4 I used up. This is, this is uh, the uh, channel it routes through on the mixer. Uh, and uh, I should be able to... Yep, so it's working now. So this is the MIDI control right here, and when I hit these, those are actually the spark sounds. So if we bring up spark again and we go over here to the plugin, uh, you can see this is the drum set we have set up. Right now I have the vintage drum set up on here. You can use any drum set in here. I'm not going to go into how this VST sets up uh, sequences and uh, drum sets in this video, but but just make sure that you have one that's running. And so this is this is the default for vintage drums. If you we look over here, there's a sequence. So make sure you can hear this, or at least make sure that you can actually hear the MIDI out and hit these keys. That means everything's set up correctly. All right. So now the next thing is. We're going to go to this the, the MIDI out here, and we're going to go up here and go to the, the piano roll. Let me reduce the size of that a little so we can see other stuff. Now, if we scroll down to C5 and start hitting keys, you, you'll hear these are all the different sounds of the different drums. And uh, some of them are mapped to different keys on some of the sets. Uh, so it depends on, on what set you have mapped, but they're all either just above or below C5. And so each key has its, has its own sound going on there. So I'm going to uh, click this, click right here at the beginning, uh, this sound here, and then I'm going to go over to uh, let's see here the next measure would be right here so let's so let's hear how that sounds we're gonna play the pattern all right so then we're gonna continue that pattern and put another one here and another one here and so if we play the pattern again And if we go and um, if we hold, where is it? If we go to Spark right here and have this up and running, and we play play the pattern. It shows you what pads are being hit. And if we go over to the mixer here 
on this, it will show you what instruments or what, what drums are being hit there as well. So you can get an idea of uh, how the keyboard is mapped to this. Uh, so you, you, you'll have to uh, take a look at that. Like I said, it depends on the drum set and how this is set up as to which sounds are on which ones of these keys. But what you can basically do is just go up the keyboard till you find the sound you want. So say we want we want to add some of, of uh, this hi-hat in there. Uh, what we can do is we can go here here and, and put those in and so if we play that all right so that that's pretty much it except there are a few little uh, things tricks to show you now so each one of these keys is is what you're using f for the kit so this does the entire thing so you don't need a separate a rack for each thing but if you want to adjust the um mixer level on here if we look at at the uh, fl studio mixer which is right here it's just this one track let's play this it's this one track here that's playing so we can adjust the overall volume right here with the mix of the rest of our instruments in uh, FL Studio. But if we want to, uh, for example, say we want to make this this uh, hi-hat a little louder, we can go in here and we can go over to uh, the Spark 2 VST. And if we go over here to Mixer, and, and we're gonna play it again, you see the hi-hat is right here. And so what I'm going to do is increase the volume. So it comes up in the mix. So you'll actually use this mixer to mix the levels of your different drums on here. And you can also you can pan pan them either side here and such. And so so you can use this mixer for your drums to get you know the granularity or the fine tuning you want on each one of the drums and then use the main mixer for the uh, the the loudness of the overall drums and uh, or the overall kit and uh, so that's basically what you can do is as far as that also in here if you go over to uh studio no not studio library you can you can load different kits on uh, and you can actually customize the instruments. Like I said, we're not really going to get into that on here because that gets a little more complex than this video uh, is uh, is designed for. The main thing I wanted to show you is how you can interface um, the Arturia Spark with FL Studio because there aren't really a lot of instructions out on the internet on it. and. Uh, uh, I haven't found one that was really good, at least for FL Studio. I'm Mungo Dark Manor, and this has been Dark Manners, and whatever you do, enjoy the day, and I will see you soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.